guys, this is Oliver, and today we're going to review King Kong, released in 2005, and this movie is one of the more iconic movies in the King Kong franchise. Uh, this movie made the character of King Kong a little bit more iconic, appearing in many other movies, and also uh, remaking King Kong for Kong Skull Island, and him appearing in Godzilla vs. Kong. This movie is a heart-wrenching drama, but at the same time, the movie is also a monster movie, which I've never seen before. This movie appeared on TV yesterday, so that's why I really, really wanted to review this movie. So what are my thoughts on this movie? Well, you're about to find out. Let's do this. I really, really like the characters in this movie. I really liked Jack Black in this movie. He was pretty funny, I think. And also Adrian Brody is in this movie and he was in Predators and he was a really, really good actor in Predators. So that's why it was a lot of fun seeing him again. Yeah, I really liked the characters in, in this movie. They were pretty good, I think. So for me, I really, really liked King Kong in this movie. He was played by Andy Serkis in this movie, and I think that he is a really, really good actor, to be honest. So you generally felt very sorry for him in this movie, and I, in general, I think that this movie came out like 12 years ago, and the visual effects still hold up to this day. I really like the design on King Kong himself in this movie. It's one of the more iconic designs of King Kong in general. And I really like it. The action in Kong Skull Island is pretty dirty, but the action in this film is even dirtier. One of my favorite action scenes in this film was easily the T Rex fight. This is one of the it's one of the most iconic scenes of the movie to me. It's when King Kong is facing off against the five T Rexes. It's pretty cool uh, to me seeing King Kong uh, fight five T Rexes at the same time uh, with just one hand and hold, at the same time holding the girl and it's just so entertaining to watch and it's so awesome and so epic i love the action in this film i really liked the action in kong skull island but i do prefer the action in this film it's very exciting but at the same time it's also very entertaining to watch so now for me in the end, I really liked King Kong. It was a pretty good movie, I think. I mean, the story was pretty good. I really liked the characters in this movie. I really liked the music in this movie. And the action scenes were also really cool, I think. I really liked the, the climax fight scene. That whole entire sequence was so awesome. Yeah, this movie, in general, I think that this movie is a pretty well-made movie, I think. Yeah, I really like this movie. But there's still one really big complaint I have with this movie. And that is that the movie is three hours long. No, I'm not kidding. Come on, Peter Jackson, why? Seriously, all your movies don't have to be three hours, you know. I prefer this movie over Kong Skull Island because I think that uh, King Kong, the design on King Kong, I prefer in this movie. And I have a lot of prob problems and many complaints with Kong Skull Island. Bye, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!